Indeed. Uh, it's a fair bit the one shows Birdman David Lindo will spend much of his eventual retirement bird spotting. It's all he does now. Tonight he travels to East Anglia to get an earful of the very rare corncrake. 200 years ago, corncrakes were as familiar a feature of the landscape as pheasants are today. Their incessant calling up to 10,000 times a night was said to drive people mad. But the introduction of mechanised farming changed this. As their habitat was destroyed, corncrakes were literally mown to death. Corncrakes are a bit of a holy grail for UK birders because they used to be widespread, but now they're very rare and very hard to see. But here at Neen Washes in East Anglia, corncrakes are making a comeback. And that's all thanks to the reintroduction programme run by the Zoological Society of London and the RSPB. Today, corncrake expert Rhys Green is hoping to release another batch of chicks into the wild. So these are our pens where we keep the, the corncrakes. We've got a bunch of chicks, so we're going to go in the pens, catch them up, and then decide whether they're ready to go out into the wild. I could hear them peeping. Yeah. Is that one jumping yeah, there? that's one jumping up. Wow. He's ready to go by the looks of him. Yeah. So, David, if you can come in with the, to the pens with us and help. Right. And we'll stand you in one place, and that's important you stay in that place and don't move your feet so that you don't tread on the corncrake. So I can't dance now? No dancing or anything like that, because it is easy to tread on them. OK. Which would be bad. <laughs> you ready? Absolutely. Right, let's go. Oh, it's stinging nettles. Ooh. Yeah, they are stinging nettles. Oh. Yeah. These are quite um, <laughs> Any dot leaves here at all? <laughs> they run around like rats. Oh, oh, oh. oh gone that way. It's amazing, it's just a tiny area of vegetation that you can lose corncrakes in this. Well, corncrakes had millions of years of adapting to be inconspicuous and living and hiding in places like this. Yeah. So uh, this is what they're good at. OK, we're done. I tell you what, I'm so excited. I mean, I can't believe that I've got five corn crates in my hand. It's brilliant. I can't wait to release this. Wow. Before they can be released, the chicks need to be weighed and measured and given a clean bill of health. Yeah, you sound pretty healthy. Beating away like a trooper. So this is a migratory species. I mean, in a few days' time, perhaps, they'll be heading off towards Africa. How do we know they're going to come back? We think uh, most of them will come back pretty close to here, and that's because while they're in the pens, they'll be learning what the, what the sky at night looks like and the stars and so on. That puts them on the map, if you like. Now, what do you want to go with stars in their eyes? Of course, I really want to hold one of these corncrakes for myself, and now I've got the perfect opportunity. Just tell me when you're, when you're ready and I'll let it go. I think I'm ready. OK. Wow. Yeah. No, you've done that before, I reckon. Isn't that amazing? So how long do these birds live for in the wild? The oldest one we've had is, uh, is three years. We've never had more than three-year-old ones. So they don't live long, then? They don't live long, no. They live very eventful lives. They live fast and furious and die young. Should call this one James Dean, then? Well, you could, except it's a female, so I wouldn't. <laughs> she, might, she might get upset. <laughs> And so, for these lucky few, the time has come for them to be given their freedom. Rhys, how do you actually decide where to release the corncrakes? I mean, this looks like any bit of field to me. Well, we're looking for a place with good cover so the bird can run about without any predators. It's also a bit a lot of insects, which right. they feed on too. <laughs> <laughs> no, to... Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that one. What That's good. Go. That's going? good. Yeah. Is there any chance, fellas, I can release one? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, out you go. Yes! Yep. Off it goes. God, they shoot off, don't they? They do. So that's another group of young birds to add to the wild corncrake population. The chances for me of seeing a corncrake in my local patch are still slim, but I think they're getting better.